Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. <laughs> So beautiful. I love you, Dad. I'm glad you like it. Oh, beautiful. I mean, you've taken it too. Yeah. Can you get a tissue? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> Today we are gathered to witness and celebrate the union between Nathan Hooker and Courtney Nielsen. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, over a meal, or during long walks, all those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continue with, I will, and you will, and we will, those late night talks that include someday, and somehow, and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All those things, those common things and more, are the real process of a wedding. Today, in the presence of our loved ones, I stand before you as the luckiest man in the world. From the moment I first saw you, I knew that my life would be forever changed, for the better. You are the missing piece that completes me, my partner, and my best friend. I promise to love and cherish you, honoring our bonds through all the highs and lows of life. I vow to support you in all of your dreams and aspirations, no matter how weird they are, encouraging you to reach the stars. Your happiness will always be my priority, and I will strive to create a home filled with laughter, warmth, and love. I promise to grow alongside you, continually learning and evolving as individuals and as a couple. I will never take our love for granted, and I will con constantly remind myself of the precious gift I have been given. If I told myself in the past that I would be marrying, marrying my manager from my first job, I wouldn't have believed myself. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw you. I was so shy that I could barely even muster a hello. When I saw you, my breath was taken away because, I mean, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you gave off such a warm and welcoming feeling that felt like home. I felt like a new fire had been lit inside of me. I felt as if I finally found the one. I felt like I was in a teenage love again. From the jokes you always cry with me that I'd always laugh at no matter how silly they'd be to um, you buying me little treats from the store whenever I'd beg you for them. I truly felt like I was 16 again. It's ironic to think if I never have gotten that job, I would have never have met the sweetest, funniest, and most attractive, perfect soulmate made just for me. And by the power vested in me through the Universal Life Church and the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. Never thought the day would come 
when I would celebrate my daughter becoming a bookist. Baby, baby, this was very